These are our fabulous improvisers Woo! and students. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and to support your family and friends. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's who you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, a big part of, uh, well, first of all, uh, raise your hands if anybody has seen improv before. You know what improv is, so you know what to expect. OK, if you don't, basically, these guys are going to be working without a script, making it up on the spot. So they have no script, nothing is planned in advance, and we're going to do short form improv games. Kind of like whose line is it anyway, if you've seen that. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that tonight. So laugh, support, have fun, ooh and ah. Um, so we're going to be coming to you guys so you know that we're making it up so that we haven't planned it for suggestions to start some of the scenes. So I might say something like, what is an object I could hold in my hand? And you would say? A beer, a beer, excellent. From the pit in the third row. <laughs> Suggesting alcoholism in the church. Awesome. Good, a beer. Can I get you something? Uh, there is a two drink minimum tonight. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, another one. What is an uh, unusual form of transportation? Unicycle. Unicycle, very good, very good. Uh, so that's the basic idea. I'll be coming to you uh, to get suggestions, and then they're going to be improvising. So let's get everybody up here on stage. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so we're going to start off with a game. Uh, let's start off a little, um, what are you doing? So, Oh, that's right, yes. Uh, so uh, tonight, so that you know who is performing for you, your improvisers are... Victoria. Michael. Sean Lee. Sarah. Julia. Angela. Emily. And once again, I'm Joel. Give another round of applause. Woo! Take up the name! Okay. All right, so let's uh, divide it in two. And let's have a line over here, another line like in here. All right, excellent. So. Uh, our first person in line is going to come forward. They're going to begin doing an activity, any activity at all. So, Shirley, what activity are you doing? I'm shooting pool. Shooting pool. He will begin shooting pool. And then Sarah will come up, and she'll ask the question. What are you doing? And he can say anything in the world other than what he's actually doing. <laughs> or repeat something that's been said earlier. So, he might okay. say. I'm getting a haircut. And then Sarah immediately will begin that activity with great fervor and excitement. <laughs> yes. Not just getting one, giving it to herself. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And then Chun Lee would say, What are you doing? And she can say anything other than what she's actually doing or what's already been done. Anything at all? I'm mowing. <laughs> and they'll go back and forth until somebody messes up. Now, as we go along, I will freeze them and make it more difficult for them. <laughs> On the lawn. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm pruning the yard. Pruning the yard. Kind of like mowing the lawn, but, <laughs> <laughs> but a whole different instrument. Less effective. And what are you doing? I am uh, playing the bass guitar. <laughs> Alright, freeze. Right, these guys are too good at this. It's going to go on forever. So uh, somebody tell me a letter from the alphabet. Yes. Z. Uh, Z. <laughs> should have known from the beer can. I told you not to bring <laughs> So now the first letter of their activity must begin with the letter Z. You're so mean. OK, and continue. <laughs> Playing the bass guitar, and what are you doing? I'm zapping bugs. Zapping bugs, excellent. What are you doing? Zipping up my coat. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? I am. Three, two, one. Get out of there. All right, this is our big game. Okay. 
that scene. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are you doing? I am laying bricks. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hear you. Hurry, Mr. Parker. What's another letter? C. C. So the first word in the activity has to start with F. Second word has to be C. Then you would do in a brewery in Madison, Wisconsin. And continue. What was I doing before? I mean, you were meeting. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the brewery. What are you doing? I am marching cans to the other side of the factory. Oh!
the second word of A. And begin. Dancing a lot. <laughs> I can't stop. What are you doing? I'm drinking ale. Oh. What are you doing? I am drawing art. What are you doing? I'm determining actuality of my life. <laughs>
and when he got there, he accidentally fell in because he tripped over his own foot. <laughs> Not something you want to do when you're a fluffy aardvark named Alan. And yet, Alan went ahead and continued to drown in the pool. <laughs> Some people were screaming for free shakes. And they would not give them to them because <laughs> they could not afford that. But with each army's respective food weapons by their side, it was the dawn of a new day. February 2nd, 1986. <laughs> it was the day they came to a truce. They said, we can live next to Burger King and, and McDonald's, as long as you get rid of those Grimace beans. <laughs> Oh, you 
will not believe the card that I just got. What'd you get? I don't know. I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> Should we unwrap it together? I think that's a good idea. Come on over here. You gotta be careful, okay? This is gonna be really valuable for 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. 20 years. Do you know how valuable my charts are? Well, I have a kind of a good idea, but why don't you tell me? Oh, five billion. Five billion dollars? Yes. Oh, five billion cents. <laughs> <laughs> coming on that five billion cents. Oh, let's get that. Good, because I would like to sell you this Pokemon card that I have yet to unwrap. And we've been dealing here for 20 years. My legs are really hurt. Do you even have a chart for that thing? 
the bird. If the, yes. Is that, that's a good idea to have the bird in the cat? Well, <laughs> we said at the laboratory that they were raised in the same kind of area.
never seen them before. There's like all these ant farms that they they just naturally need. So sometimes we would go to this like exclusive ant farm. <laughs> oh, but it seems very secretive as well. It is, yeah. You don't want to like disturb. What, what would happen if, if I were to disturb? The, the sand would just fall, and then the, you just destroyed like a million years of ant farming. And what would be the consequences for that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you, but I'm sure. <laughs> The consequences would be catastrophic. Haven't you heard, like, you know, like, when if, like, you destroy all the bees, all the foliage would die within five years or so? Sure, oh, everybody's heard that, yeah. If you yeah. kill all the ants. What would happen? <laughs> it's okay, you can tell us. We want to know. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really upset. <laughs> all sand would cease to exist. And? The earth would just, like, I'm sorry, what would happen? <laughs>
pews in churches to stools. You know all about that. So um, why is singing so important for us to understand? Oh, well, you must sit if you want to. Right. <laughs> we seem very happy about this. Uh, so, <laughs> wow, it seems like an inside joke because I don't quite get it. <laughs> Can you explain what you're laughing about? I know. <laughs> well, what were you laughing about there? Because you, all you said was you must sit if you want to write your name. Is that what you said? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. You must sit if you want to rest your legs. If you want to rest your legs, I see. And and that's like a joke in the seating world. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I think I'm starting to get it now.
on a bench seating, especially the bench, is uh, has spiritual meaning to you. Can you explain that to us? Stop. 
stops until your legs get here. So you are almost <laughs> ready to receive your legs. Okay, okay. And it, the bad news is there are different boxes. So there's one, I don't know, the left leg might come first. So up. That's right. special delivery. Up. Thank one, you. one leg. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Okay. You're going to have a leg to stand on now. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh, the right oh. leg. Oh. Oh, it, it was the right leg. I thought it was the left one. I'm glad you noticed that. You walk in a circle. That feels awesome. This one, not so much. Yeah. All right. Well, here, get a little walk around. Let's see what you're doing. Ah, such a good leg. Oh, nice. So nice. Got good. a good job. All right. Oh, the next one should be here. I see I got my little notification.
Uh, all right, so we'll uh, finish up on, uh, let's do another new choice, and we'll finish up on a new choice. Who hasn't done that uh, tonight? Go ahead and have up one and two on new choice. Excellent. Okay. Um, how do these two know each other? What is their relationship? Clash of clans. Clash of clans. So your clans that are clashing. Or it could be a video game, or it could be really actual clans. And so, however, however you want to take that. Clash of clans. And begin. I see you there. Why, why are our clans clashing? Why? New line. I, I don't understand. Are you going to hide there forever? New choice. Is there something in my game? New choice. <laughs> not, not a question. I see you behind the bush, and I see that you are wearing the other clan colors. I'm going to get you once I find your weapon. Mom, remember we're training. <laughs> <laughs> but you married into the other clan, honey. I can't betray my clan. He's my own. New choice. With drum. He's my money. New choice. <laughs>
and the clashing of the clan with the back on. <laughs> you are no longer my daughter. You have forsaken this house for material wealth and this thing that you call Amazon Prime. <laughs>
my toes, and so I try to now I give them back. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that it's really important to stay in the moment when you're in a talk. So, like, being able to just be present and not think about three steps ahead is also really uh, can relax your life a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You get that. Yeah. It is one of those things, if you're able to get up on stage without a script or anything in front of an audience, of, whether it's large, small, whatever it is, uh, a lot of things in life are not nearly as scary once you come to that. So, oh, I did that and survived, and it was okay, and I did it, and I failed, <laughs> you know, and I'm still alive, and I got through it, and, and I found a way to make the failure fun for the audience, so it's still yeah. entertaining. Um, so, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah, pretty much I'm, I'm still on the same note. It really helps, I think, with anxiety because you do get in your head, but then if something doesn't work, you kind of have to let it go. You can't, you know, stick on it. You have to move on. So it kind of helps with just letting things go and being okay with moving on. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yep. Um, it also kind of forces you to be very creative, um, which I find helps because I'm a writing student, and so I've found that like I kind of write things that are I don't know more like flushed out things I wouldn't have thought of before if I hadn't like been practicing, saying you know mashing potatoes monstrously and I never <laughs> think of that before, um, and it helps like you know in like traditional I guess acting too like with the scripts or mm -hmm. especially with live theater you never know what's gonna happen you're gonna have to do it off script sometimes. Yeah. Um, so it's in the like uh, energy generating. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, motivation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Stimulating. Mm -hmm. And you make people smart. You say something funny, you're like, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do. I, I do think it's very true that it's a, a really great tool for actors to learn how to be more in the moment, really listening your scene partners, it's so great for that. But also for writers to get used to, okay, don't block yourself. Just, you know, you know, get over writer's block or, you know, just write something out. And, and it's okay if it's silly. I can go back and fix it later. But, I, you know, to get through those moments. But I, I think for everybody in everyday life, it's one of those things like we were talking about, the anxiety, but also just the confidence building that it is, the experience of this. Uh, I've definitely seen people that have done workshops with that would just come in the one that we did last spring, we had one of our students who, I mean, could barely get on stage and speak a word. And at the end of the six weeks, she was up here just doing silly, ridiculous things. And afterwards, she was like, I never thought I could do this. And so it just does my heart good when I see that. So I think it's really good. And she wasn't an actress. She was, you know, uh, for any walk of life, it's just a great confidence builder. So I, I recommend it. I think it's awesome for all of those things. And more. It really charts that. How much? <laughs> Five billion <Yes>. cents. <laughs> Plus interest. Plus interest. Plus interest. Uh, take the finances up with the greenhouse. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, well, thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being in the class. February 14th, we're going to double check the yeah. dates, but somewhere in that area. So. That's right. Yes. I mean, <laughs> all sorts of jokes to tell about. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you are interested in, in uh, around there, probably about that day. Uh, please feel free. Um, there, there is a small house to it, um, <laughs> just to keep the lights on and everything. But um, uh, leave your email address with me. There's no audition process, but there's only what 18 slots total. Yeah, but I, we, yeah, we, we capped it. About that. We will cap it at that. But we don't want to get too full, and yeah. I'm thinking that may be a little too full, so we may not go that yeah. that large. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably. Uh, MJ, <laughs> should I say something about beer? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, man. What's the age limit? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. I'll defer to our fearless leader here. We have talked about that. Um, 
stay tuned. We'll, we'll get back we'll, to we'll discuss it further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old will you be in February? <laughs> so old. So old. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What we might do is uh, potentially offer a, a younger, you know, a junior high to high school kind of age group, and then an adult potentially. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Potentially. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll figure out some of those things. But it's a good question. Thanks for bringing it up. It's good for us to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it is better. It's cheaper, cheaper than therapy, that's for sure. I don't, I don't cry as much when I go home. <laughs> but uh, if, if you are interested in the greenhouse, um, we're a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, some of you guys know us already, but you can check us out at greenhouseproductions.com. We have a lot of different things going on. Um, this is just one of the many uh, classes and workshops out there. So feel free to check that out. Um, make a sizable donation. I don't mind. That's fine. <laughs> Tax deductible, tax deductible, yeah, all that good stuff. So. Excellent. All right, well, thank you so much for coming out and supporting Friends of Family.